Good morning. I'm just waiting for a couple more people to join and then I will get started. Good morning. So we're gonna use four colors for this one. I've chosen these four. As always, you can do as many or as little details as you'd like. So if you think, oh, that's too many, or I don't have that many colors, don't worry. Oh, just took a big drink of water. So we're gonna do six strands of the darkest pink color, this one. First. Don't even start with me today, thread. Let me do a little knot and then I'll zoom in and we can get started. There we go. Okay, and like always, we're gonna do <laughs> a sentence stitch again. <laughs> Um, but this time we're going to kind of make them all pointing down. So when you get lines like this, you definitely know that you'll have to tuck a couple in and make sure that the outside edge is nice um, and, your, and your stitches are all nice and clear there. So you don't want one to be up higher, one to be up lower around the edge. Here you want them all to be kind of in a nice row following that shape. Yeah? Let's get started. I tend to always start in the middle of these, either in the middle or on in the middle of this hump. Good morning. So just as we did it before, some will go all the way down to the middle part and some will be just about three quarters of the way. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How is everyone Thursday? That means tomorrow is Friday. So exciting. Good morning, Meg. Good morning, Helen. Good morning, good morning, Carolyn. Good morning, Robin. That's my mom. So yeah, the good old satin stitch, six strands. We're, do we're doing it. We're, we're just stitching away. Did you get a lot of packing done yesterday, Meg? And um, like always, I never start here again. I always start in the middle and then go each way. So to each their own on this one. Just depends on how you like to do it. Eight boxes full of books, Meg. Oh my God. My kind of girl. I love books. The other day, David went to Sainsbury's, maybe? Just for a couple little, like, bits and bobs that we were out of. And he came home, and he goes, 
Now, I was going to get you flowers, but then they just, like, die. So instead, I got you these two books because I thought that you'd enjoy them more and you'll be able to read them again and again. And I was like, oh, that's really sweet. I love books. <laughs> Meg said, I'm disappointed I haven't got more. Well, sometimes I think when I buy ebooks because they're a little bit cheaper, I'm a little bit mad that I don't have those put on my shelf. Like, I've read them, I want them on my shelf. Like, I want a physical copy of the book. But sometimes it's nice to like read in bed in the dark or be able to take like 15 books with you on your phone or on your, I have a nook. So like, that's nice. That's a nice part of it, but. So here we go. Blue Piano says, I agree so much. Mike said, yeah, I get the digital book. And if I really like it, I'll buy it in paper form. Yes, like double. I think that there, there hasn't really been like many books that I haven't liked. That I was just like, no, I can't. Sometimes you just have to be in the mood for that kind of book, though, you know? <clears throat> My mom says, apparently it was National Daughter Day yesterday. I'm a day late again, so happy Daughter Day. <laughs> Thanks. Blue Peonia says, our shelves are full, so I told my husband we should move for a bigger place. Yeah, you need new shelves. More places to put bookshelves. We keep saying that we're going to put a bookshelf around like the outer edge of the top of the wall in our living room. But we just haven't done it yet because we don't have um, like much wall space in our living room. There's like not a lot of places in our house to actually put another bookshelf. So this one's too high and that's why I'm taking it out. Just so you're not like, what is she doing? What is she doing? Helen says, did you decide when and what the next stitch along will be? No, only because um, I have to go and tally up all the votes from the little um, question. What is happening here? From the little like questionnaire thing I did um, on my stories the other day. And I have to stitch up the October pattern still. So this weekend, David's going on a golf trip. So I'm... I'm home by myself. Well, with Jesse, obviously. And I'm going to do all my stitching this weekend. So, yeah, after that, then I can start. I have to do the October pattern, and then I can start thinking up the new Christmas kit, which is going to be so fun. I already have a couple ideas, but I haven't, like, drawn them out yet. So the new Christmas kit I'm excited about. And then, obviously, I want to do one more stitch along before the year is finished. I think they're quite fun. And then I think a Christmas one will be nice. Because we did, like, the bicycle with flowers. And then we did um, what's the second one? The greenhouse. Yeah, the greenhouse. That was cool. Oh, my God. I just had, like, the biggest brain fart there. <laughs> I was like, what was the other stitch along we did? <laughs> Oh my god. I'll do one more. Yeah, like I'm glad that a lot of people wanted to do it though because like obviously I can't just like it's not a stitch along if there's no one to stitch with. You can't really be stitching along by yourself, 
you know? So I'm glad that a lot of people said that they wanted to do it. Helen says she's just finished the September pattern. It's lovely. Thank you. Tag me in your picture of it if you take a picture. Then I can share. So I've done exactly half. Also, um, if you tag me in anything and you are a private account, I won't see it because you're private. I don't know if you are, Helen, but I'm just throwing it out there. So um, you might have to, if you are a private account, you might have to like send me a picture in my DMs or something. I know someone the other day was like, I've been tagging you in my stories and you never repost mine. And I went to go check and it's because she's, she's private. Helen says, I never know if I've tagged it properly. So you just have to tag me in order for me to see it at the Barmy Fox. And then normally when you push like at and then put the, you know, start to type it out, um, a bunch of like suggested people will come up. So that, that will be one. Ooh, Carolyn. Yeah. I'll go and um, request to follow you if you are private. Because sometimes I just don't know. I don't know that you are tagging me because your account is private. So I apologize for that. I will say satin stitch is the longest part of these. There was a lot of satin stitch in the um, in the September pattern. Yeah, Carolyn. So if you're if you are a private account and you're not public to everyone, then it just means that only the people who are your friends that are following you can see your posts, so that it's private. It won't let just like any random person watch them. And to be honest, the only way that a random person would watch them is if you do like a big add a hashtag into your um, into your story and then it will be like for anybody. Anybody who checks the hashtag will be able to see it. That's okay. Carolyn says, I'm still learning Instagram. That's okay. They come out with new features all the time. So believe me, everyone is still learning all at the same time. And every time there's a new feature, people are like, oh, I've got this new thing. Do you have this new thing? How does it work? Let's check it. So it's not just you. Okay. I'm almost finished. I promise. Off to the solicitors. Good luck, lovely. And have a good day. I think I'm going to have to put another stitch right there. Almost finished, almost finished, I promise. I'm trying to stitch as fast as I can. I've just got this other half of the leaf to do. And then we'll add some straight stitches in the middle like we did for the very first one, except it'll be all six strands. Good morning, Tash. How are you? I'm excited for your bird feeder. I 
I really want one, but I'm afraid that Jesse's going to, like, try and chase them away, like, all the time. Okay, so this one's done. Let's see if I need any more stitches anywhere. You might do me another one right here. Okay. Tash says, oh my God, it's taking everything in me not to stalk my bird feeder to see if anything arrives. I hope you get lots of birds, like loads of them. But yeah, I kind of want one. So like where I sit to do most of my work is like right in front of the big kitchen window. I think I've shown you before. But um, I kind of want one like, like right outside the window so I can just like look up and see like every once in a while, you know? Okay, so for each one of these, we're just going to add one straight line for each of the humps and one in the middle. All six strands, and I'm using a light pink color. You could also do detached chain stitches if you want them to be a little bit like loopy. You know, if you wanted to have like a loop there instead of just a straight line. It's up to you, however you feel like it. But we're using all six strands because it's gonna be a little bit of a thicker line, so you'll be able to see it because we're gonna add a, two more colors still. So we're gonna do these here like this. The sun is coming out a little bit. So it's exciting. I turn the light on anyways. They don't have to be all the same length or anything. I'm just doing one for each of the humps. These humps here and one in the middle. Just straight stitches. Remember about where you put your knots because we're going to be doing French knots and some satin stitch in the middle as well. So you don't want a lot of knots there. So I'm going to end mine at the top. Flip her over. And then we're going to fill in the center this little circle here because we're going to do French knots around the outside circle and we want them to overlap there. Again, six strands. And mostly for this one, it's because I don't need it to look delicate in any kind of way. And it's gonna fill up the space quicker. So I don't have to do like thousands of little one strand across, 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 across. You can add the lines if you want to, but you really don't need to. We're just doing some straight cross lines here. Because it's a circle, you'll want to go a little bit shorter with your stitches at the top. Hi. I should say good evening to you because she's in Australia. There we go. She says, I'm late to the party. That's okay because this is a long one. Oh, girl, it's still out there. She said, How did how'd you go with the spider? So the spider is outside, and I don't really like to kill the ones that are outside. I just I don't like the ones that are in my house, like physically in my house. Like, I cannot be living with something that's just, like, popping out every once in a while. And the idea of them, like, crawling on me, it, like, it makes me feel sick. 
So the ones that are outside, I tend to just kind of leave, leave them. But um, I went out to check on him this morning. I'm, I might give him a name, like Frank the Spider or something. Um, but I went to go check on him this morning just to like, ooh, you know, is he there? Is he not there? I don't know. I don't know. And his web was like all torn up in the middle, like na- like completely destroyed. And he was nowhere to be found. I mean, I did not go outside looking for him, but I looked out the window and he wasn't there. So, I mean, good for me, but maybe not good for him. I don't know. Maybe someone, something ate it. Frank. Okay, so the very last thing that you need to do is we're going to do French knots all the way around here. I'm just going to take a drink of water real quick. Um, and I'm going to show you how to choose how many wraps to do on your French knot. So I've shown you before, if you do one wrap, it'll be smaller. If you do two, a little bit bigger. Three, even bigger. Four, I wouldn't even go there because it's going to be a mess. So we're going to come up like this. Yeah. So the way you can check is to do just one wrap. Yeah. So my needle at the top, wrap, and you stick your needle straight down kind of next to where you just came up and put it down. Yeah. But don't come in all the way. So you can see it's kind of sticking out the back there, there, but I didn't push it down all the way. Now this is just to check. Is one wrap going to be enough? No, because I can still see white on both sides. So take out. You can try two wraps. Have a good day, mom. Push it down and you can see, is it gonna be enough? I'm gonna say no, because there's still some white there. So take out and try three. And when you push it down, that looks like it's gonna be a good size. So you can commit, put it all the way through. And we're just gonna do that all the way around. So now you know that you need three wraps. It's going to fill up the space nicely. I will zoom out so that you can see kind of, that's my sweatshirt. You can kind of see where my hands go when I do these. So I grab this one, wrap, 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 push it down a little bit. There's a knot there, so just be careful. Yeah, and I always hold this over here, not tight, but I hold it so it doesn't kind of get sucked in and then you get a bigger knot. Just like that. These are much easier if you have a stand. So I went over the stand yesterday, it's in yesterday's video. Um, but if you don't have a stand, then that's fine. You can lay your um, hoop in your lap and do this. Just be careful when you poke it down a little bit because oftentimes I'll poke myself like in the leg when I'm, when I'm doing these. Especially if I have to do a lot of them and I get a bit lazy and not careful anymore. Carolyn says, I'm heading to the thrift store this weekend to see if I can find a stand. Oh, I hope that you can. I know they sell them on Amazon as well. Look, I'll see if I can get a link. And I don't have that like aff affiliate, Amazon affiliate, whatever. So I won't like get money from it or anything. You don't have to like worry about that. But I can see if there's a um, one online, maybe. I know that they're, they're at Hobbycraft. So there we go. Blue Pionia says, I'll ask for one for Christmas, which is perfect. And actually, I was just going to say, there's a ton of um, patterns in the shop. So all the patterns of the month, the past patterns of the month 
from January until now were all in the shop still from when I was on holiday. So if you're looking for a Christmas gift, if you get stitching now, you can definitely make a bunch for Christmas. So how fun is that? Carolyn says, Christmas is a good idea too. I didn't care for the type Joanne's sells. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, check maybe like Hobby Lobby online as well or um, Michael's. I know sometimes they have, they have stuff like that. So there we go. I haven't finished this one yet, as you can tell. I did make some progress on the outside. But this is today's little flower. As always, you can add more things to it if you feel like I like the outlining. So you want to add a stem stitch on the outside, you can do that. If you want to not do as many details, don't do as many. It's simple, easy peasy. It's your hoop. Change it how you want to. You know, we only have four days left. I cannot believe it. I absolutely cannot believe it. Um, so if you're doing leaves, I will see you tomorrow. And if you're doing flowers, I will see you on Saturday. I couldn't remember the day of the week. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your day. Um, be sure to tag me in your pictures. I'll repost as many as I can. And yeah. Comment on other people's pictures if you find them on the Barmy Fox, S-A-L, the Barmy Fox, and then just S-A-L at the end. Um, you'll find a lot of them there. So yeah, give each other some love and encouragement because we're almost finished. So enjoy your day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.